For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to use an integer divide. So when we take numbers in CircuitPython and we divide them, we can just use the regular slash sign to divide them as a float. And that means we can get sort of decimal numbers in the result. But there are a lot of cases where we want an integer, for example, to light up a particular number of NeoPixels. You'll want an even whole number. You can't use uh, a float or a decimal for that. Or for positioning stuff on a screen, such as the example that I have here. Uh, what you can see is as I turn this knob, I have it plugged into a little Pi Portal Pint, uh, I'm displaying both the raw analog read, that's that big number, like 18,000 something, and then you can see I'm dividing it by 256 to get some sort of nice uh, usable number range for typical things. And you can see the answer there is 71.5156. Well, I can't move that many asterisks. That's not a whole number. I need an integer number. So the number I'm actually using for how many asterisks I'm drawing on screen is the one below it, which is that number and then two slashes, which then divides by 256, but gives me a, an integer number as the result. So 57, 60, 70, 80, and so on as I, as I turn this. Uh, you can see in my code how this works when I am checking this position, which is an analog read. Uh, position is equal to the knob value, which I then am doing a little check on. This is sort of a filtering I'm doing here. I'm using this get a, get a whole number thing because the little uh, decimal values are bouncing all over the place all the time. Uh, and then I'm printing either the divide by, which gives us the float, or the integer divide, the two slashes, and that gives us the integer whole number. Uh, and then I am printing a number of asterisks multiplied by the position and again, two slashes divided by in an integer fashion, 256. And that gives us usable numbers in a really nice, easy to use syntax. And that is how you can use integer divide inside of CircuitPython. That is your CircuitPython Parsec.